My name is Staff Sergeant Cope. I'm an instructor here at the Sobolowski Air Assault School. And this morning we're going to be going over the 5K cargo net. The reference material that covers that is TM 4-48.10. So the first thing that you want to check on the 5K cargo net is the load brief itself, okay? So what's going to be on this is the aircraft. Then you're going to have the weight of the load and then the hook sequence. Now the hook sequence can either be 1342 or 1324. All right, once you check the load brief, you're going to turn around, you're going to pick up your apex and make sure that you have your aluminum spacer. Then you're going to check your bolt, castellated nut, and your cotter pin. You're then going to move to your grab hook assembly. Make sure it's not inverted so your aluminum roller is on the inside of this potted eye. Next, you're going to check the link count, which is three. One, two, and three is in that grab hook assembly. Next, you're going to grab your chain. Make sure it's going one time and one time only through your manufactured apex. You're going to go to manufactured apex. You're going to check to make sure that number one hook is marked with your tether cord with type 3 nylon. Make sure your hooks are alternating and then your hooks are secured with two inch tape or they can be secured with type 3 nylon around the bottom. You've checked that. You're gonna to move to your lifting legs. You're gonna pick up your lifting legs and you're gonna check that breakaway. Make sure that it's going all the way around and all legs are in. Once you've checked that one, you're gonna to move to the second one. All legs are in. And then come here to this third one and then all legs are in. Once you've checked that, you're gonna to move to your lacing cord. The lacing cord, you're gonna to check to make sure it's a proper square knot. Then you're gonna check your excess, make sure it's taped back to itself and not the cord that's actually lacing the net. 